Hey guys, hope you all have been well and welcome back to my channel. This is a very different setting. You can hear a lot of background noise. I'm in a different place. I have no makeup on my face. And for those of you that follow me on Instagram know what I'm currently going through, what the people here are currently going through. I'm going to be saving that video for a get ready with me where I'm focused more on what I'm saying as opposed to what I'm showing you. So that will be a get ready with me coming when things become a little bit more normal than they are right now. But I wanted to do a quick haul video because this will be, or these products will be things that I put in my get ready with me and I want to be able to have some sort of sequence to it instead of being like, get ready with me and then I haul it later. Please excuse, this is like my, uh, what's it called, the power of makeup, but I'm just not gonna do half of my face, it's just bare. You see my bare face before, I have no shame in it, whatever. So I'm gonna start off first with palettes that um, are empty and I put like my own products in it. Um, this first one here is a dual-sided uh, magnetic palette and in here I case all of my um, NARS eyeshadows. I did ding a lot of them because I it's been a while since I depotted. So this one here, I believe that is Sin and it like completely shattered because I was like really digging into the pot but it doesn't hurt me too much like when am I ever going to finish like that bit so I'm not too hurt about it but I wanted to house my NARS um, blushes. Did I say eyeshadow? These are my NARS blushes. I wanted to house them because the packaging was starting to get sticky. Same thing with my duos and so I just figured we just need to find a new house because it's getting ridiculous. And so with that I also bought the ColourPop palette, empty palette, and I just wrote down here these are my NARS duos. I have this thing with like, I don't know, like designing things. I'm not great at it but I just have like a love for it. So here are the NARS duos that I have and I believe this one here, this is from Star Sailor. There was a yellow gold in it and I didn't like it and it wouldn't have fit in here so I had to do away with one and that was the one I decided to get rid of but this like olive green color, I love it. I'm filming outside as you can see and today is uh, the start of early boating and there's like a bunch of like flyers and banners everywhere you go. There's like this whole bunch of stuff. I did get an extra palette. The reason being is because I'm going to be depotting the Masquerade uh, palette from Julia's Place when I get that in. Then I did buy two of the ColourPop brow pencils. I really want to try and get an affordable version of my Anastasia Beverly Hills and so I was on the ColourPop website already so I was kind of like, I'll just try that out. I did get the shade Taupe as well as the shade Ash Brown and I want to see which one is closest to the medium brown shade that I get in Anastasia. I always feel like someone's like here and I'm home alone. It's kind of freaking me out and I'm being brave. Just filming on the floor like literally I'm on the front porch with this window open or this sliding door. I also got the pomade again to see if I can replace the uh, Anastasia dip brow because again it's like a pricier thing and I go through brow products pretty quickly so I don't want to spend like 20 something dollars or 20 dollars every time I need it. Bronze moment? Bro day? Bronze day? What is this? Oh, it kind of looks like, um, what color is that? It's the shade that I get, Ash Brown, in Anastasia. And for the rest of ColourPop, I did get four lip glosses because I wanted to kind of finish off my um, lip products. I have 224 lipstick holders, and I told myself that was it. Whatever, whatever can fit in there was all I was going to get if I was... I'm going to get rid of something. It was the only time I can replace it. Granted, I am on a no buy till about July, so I'm going to be keeping what I have for now. And the first one here is in tight fit. It says it's a metallic. What? Uh oh. I thought this was just shimmery. It's kind of like a peachy undertone, like the base of it, and then it's got pink and almost gold reflex in it. That's not that metallic. -y. And I kind of, uh, 
miss having like shimmer glosses. Um, I used to have quite a few of them before when I, I used to have like a ton of MAC glosses, but not so much anymore. This one is in, phew, phew, the typhoon has gone. I'm just saying. Yes, this is the kind of gloss that I like. I basically just want gloss toppers. This one here. I think it's nice when you like like a certain color on your lips, but you just want to intensify it a little bit or gloss it up a little bit. So I wanted to get those types of glosses. So I'm a little shocked that I didn't read into that metallic one. This one is in Fairy Floss and it is a sheer. Oh my god. There's a Kingfisher. You guys know what a kingfisher is? It's a bird. It's got like a whiter white top and then this like fluorescent bluish. Just look it up. We've got some like wild animals here. And I live in the mountains, so we get extra wild stuff here. Like there's a green lizard about this big. Right before I was filming. <laughs> uh, did I say what this was? Yeah, fairy floss. This is like yes. This might be like a dupe for the Boy Bait um, lip gloss that I always use. Now depending on how it wears and the way it feels, it might replace Boy Bait because again, you know, we need to try and save money where we can. And I'm not too much into brands like I used to be. Um, I'll admit it, I was into brands. <laughs> Welcome. So this is a collaboration with Shayla. I'm not sure who that is. But this is in Meat Freak. Love this. This is kind of similar to that. Uh, wait. Yes, it's sheer. Perfect. So this is what I thought the first one was. And this one has gold, gold shimmers in it. Oh, that's so pretty. This one here. The noise that you're hearing, they're not doing construction. That is a box of chickens because my brother raises chickens. Yes, farm girl. I can I can catch a chicken, no problem. <laughs> you ever need to catch a chicken, holler at me. Uh, two Dose of Color things. This one is a Dose of Color liquid lipstick and uh, this is the first time I'm ever ordering from Dose of Colors. Um, knock on wood, I saw someone swatch this and I was like, yes. I gotten rid of all of my brown um, liquid lipsticks and I was like, I just need one. I just need one in my collection. Like I love using the browns to mix my other liquid lipstick to get the, to get the perfect shade that I want because with liquid lipsticks it's hard to mix colors um, and it's something that I do. I did a whole video on um, mixing liquid lipsticks and I love having a brown and I don't have one. This is kind of an orange based brown and it reminds me of one of the ones from Lime Crime that I used to own. I forget what it was called but yeah. I just, I need a brown and this is the only one, so. This one here is from, again, Dose of Colors, but this is one of their eyeshadow palettes. This is the Pretty Cool. I saw quite a few of the other eyeshadow palettes that they have, like people do reviews on. I haven't seen this one quite that much. And the shades, I feel like out of the ones that they own, this one spoke to me the most. I felt like these shades spoke to me a lot more than the mauve ones and stuff just because I feel like I can use this more than those other ones. Um, and I have more shades of those than I do these shades. And lastly, this is not a uh, haul per se. Uh, I did get sent these. So this is from Iris Beauty and they sell a couple beauty products but um, mainly what they're known for is their uh, colored contacts and they do have them in like regular without prescription as well as prescription and then there's like you know if you have different issues with your eyes they do cater to those things as well and I will be going into more detail about them when I do the get ready with me because I will be using the contacts in that video because I felt like with the um, you know the whole surviving typhoon and like things are really brown and they're starting to get back into like flourishing green i'm like that might be like a really good idea to use that this one is an eyeliner this is the ultra defining eyeliner and i'm surprised this is a felt tip but it'll work it doesn't dry down completely matte but it's not glossy which i 
I love, I hate glossy eyeliners for some reason. My eye shape is, it's a little funky, so when it's glossy, it looks weird on my eyes. I also got these magnetic eyelash extensions. I remember when this was a thing, when people were getting like PR like crazy with these magnetic strips. Hey, I'm filming here. Where, where are you? Truck. I remember once upon a time, a lot of people got PR of these things and they had difficulty with it so this might be something to just try on camera and see how it goes because I even though I feel like I'm pretty good at putting on lashes I'm still not a professional so <laughs> we're gonna see how that goes and then lastly I have not opened these up these are the contacts and I got them in the shade mineral green it does come with a uh, case and because both my prescription, like both my eyes are the same prescription, it doesn't matter which one I put it in. Sometimes I'll put the left eye in the right pot. But uh, this is what it looks like. And the reason I'm really excited about this is because everyone I've seen it on, it looks natural on them. And by natural, I mean it doesn't necessarily mean like, oh my God, it looks like your eyes. But sometimes with contacts, you can tell, like especially in the ring in the center, it doesn't blend very well. But the ones that I've seen on people using these, uh, this particular pair, they've looked amazing on them. So chicken, come on. Alright guys, so that concludes this video. I hope that the Get Ready With Me comes sooner rather than later. Um, and those of you that just want a quick rundown, I will tell you that I did um, experience along with the people here and the island across the way did experience what is known to be the strongest hurricane slash typhoon depending where you live. We call it typhoon but it's basically the same thing. We had got um, experience what is called the strongest hurricane slash typhoon to hit or make U.S. land fall since 1935. And if I'm not mistaken, the winds were upwards of 200 or more, um, or at least gusts were, and it was very scary. I'm currently without electricity. I don't know when it will be back, which is why I don't know when my next video will be. I'm going to try and edit this and upload it um, somewhere that has like a generator we have a generator here but our whole internet situation needs to be fixed as well so even if I did get power I couldn't I couldn't upload this basically I will try my best to edit this video um, on my laptop and then try and upload it some sometime soon I can't guarantee you when anyways guys I hope you guys enjoy this please don't mind my current setting my current situation I'm just trying to make the best of the situation that I'm in and I really want to get back into filming because I was so good at getting my videos out twice a week sometimes three and I just I miss it so I wanted to just keep myself busy by doing something that I enjoy which is making YouTube videos. I hope you all are doing well taking really good care of yourselves I will see you all next time. Bye guys!